a sad way to start off the day. An active duty Marine shot dead two fellow service members at a base at Quantico, Virginia, then barricaded himself in a building and killed himself, prompting a brief lockdown of the base, the Marines said on Friday. The shootings took place late on Thursday, near the Officer Candidate School, at the Marine Corps base in Quantico, and all three people who died were identified as Marines, Marine spokesman Sergeant Christopher Zan said. Zan, who was based at Quantico, could give no details as to a motive for the shootings. The investigation is in the very early stages, he said. Billy McNeely, a 32-year-old man from Canada who got into a fight with a man over an arm wrestling match at a birthday party in 2010. The dispute resulted in McNeely being stabbed five times. He rushed to the hospital and got stitched up by doctors. Then he got on with his life. But the incident left him with a permanent and painful back itch that wouldn't relent. Earlier this week, he found out what was causing it, a knife blade that had been buried in his skin for nearly three years. McNeely and his girlfriend were asleep in bed when he began having back issues. I sat up, I tried to rub it and scratch it the way I always did, and then the tip of my nail caught a piece of something solid, something sharp, he said. My girlfriend got up and she started playing around with it and she maneuvered my back in a certain way and the tip of a blade poked out of my skin. He went straight to the hospital and doctors found a blade about 2.5 inches long lodged in his flesh. I have got it in my pocket right now, McNeely added. While the 32-year-old is happy to finally know what was causing his back issues, he is pretty upset that doctors never took an x-ray to make sure he didn't have any internal damage, which would have shown the blade. I walked around for close to three years with this thing in my back, he lamented. They brushed me off. Fox News host Bill O'Reilly and his guest Laura Ingraham have banded together to help preserve and protect Easter and all of its traditions as many school districts and secular people are trying to ban this traditional Christian holiday, going so far as to not allow the word Easter to be said. As if you need further proof that the Obama administration is pulling a fast one over our eyes by closing White House tours for school children because of sequestration. Here is a story that will absolutely make you burn with anger. Vice President Joe Biden's London stay in February was not the most expensive part of his trip. A government document released on February 14, 2013, shows that the contract for the Hotel Intercontinental Paris Le Grand came in at $585,050. And that is just for one night. A MUFIN report has described an unusual sighting that took place over Low Farm, Manitoba a week ago. A witness has reported sighting a UFO hovering over an airplane in Low Farm, Manitoba, on 14th March, 2013 at 4.20 p.m. I am not certain as to how many feet above the plane this object was, but estimate it was several thousand feet. It was close enough to tell that it had a large diameter and produced no noise, on top of the noise from the low-flying airplane. On the duration and effect of the sighting he added, I was able to view both the airplane and the object for approximately two minutes before losing sight of them.